to jasonnewland.com My name is Jason Newland This is Deep Sleep Whisper Hypnosis Please only listen when you can safely close your eyes Now I'm recording this during the day so there's a possibility of a little bit of background sound so if that's an issue then maybe uh, don't listen and when I say background sound it's I don't know because it's <laughs> it's summer and people might go out in the garden yeah, if a helicopter lands or something then I'll obviously stop recording I can't sit in my shed or my studio because it's way too hot I'd literally melt so I'm in my living room I'm just letting you know that ideally there'd be no background sound ever in any of my recordings and I do my best to have the minimum of background sounds in these whisper sessions because they're so quiet already but what you could do is incorporate any background sounds you hear into the body scan that we're going to do. And you can use this as a sleep session as well if you choose. So it's going to be both a body scan for relaxation and if you want to, if you decide to, you can allow yourself to drift off to sleep. So I'd like to say a big thank you to everybody that listens to these recordings. A special thank you to someone that left me a message. Let me have a look. This is from James. He says, I've been listening to you since around early March and you've really helped me get into bed at night. I currently listen to your whisper hypnosis recordings and look forward to your work in the future. I definitely recommend listening to Jason Newland. So thank you. So when I say this is a sleep and a relax session, I know basically it's a sleep hypnosis whis whisper. They are also relaxing as well. And when I do a body scan, it's technically not even a relaxation session. But yeah, it's very relaxing because a body scan is a meditative experience by focusing on the different parts of your body. It calms your mind. I mean, there's lots of different reasons why it might do that. You know, there's lots of different reasons. You could say, well, it's a distraction from your thinking. Because our minds can only really focus on a minimal amount of things at once. And when you give your full attention to how the lower back is feeling, and you've already focused on some of the other parts of your body, your mind is not in the same state as it was before. It's no longer thinking about things that you are worried about or concerned about or even excited about. Because let's not forget that not all thoughts are negative. I mean, there's lots of really good stuff there as well that we think about. Having an active mind is an amazing thing. It's a gift. 
it's just when you want to go to sleep, it's not particularly helpful. But it's still something not worth, it's not something worth being negative towards. Because even if it's negativity, even if it's things that you're worried about, it still means that your mind is active. And that's a brilliant thing. I hope this comes across in the way it's intended. I'm not saying that feeling crappy and depressed and all that stuff is good. Of course it's not good. It's horrible. Yet the ability to have thoughts, the ability to think is actually a skill. And mixed in with all those different thoughts is going to be a lot of positive stuff. It's just sometimes we may not be able to separate it. It's almost like one big whirlpool of things. And maybe those things with the most energy are the ones that we feel the most of, the ones to stand out. But it's worth noting that you've got these trees, yeah, you've got these trees and some are negative, and some are positive. Now, the negative ones can often stand out more because they're often taller than the, the, the positive ones. So the negative trees are more visible sometimes. In the short term, they grow quickly and they stand out. The positive ones perhaps grow a little bit slower, so they're shorter. They will eventually become bigger, but they're not as big sometimes as the positive as the negative ones. Yeah. <laughs> try, try and follow me here. It's going somewhere wonderful. why the positive ones are shorter is because they're growing underground they're growing the roots the roots are growing stronger and longer in the positive trees the negative trees have practically no roots it's all about show it's all about being seen it's all about grabbing your attention. And the thing with the bo with the positive trees, in order to topple one, you'd have to chop it and chop it and chop it and chop it. It would take ages because of the roots. But why would you want to chop down a positive tree? I'm just saying if you were to. The negative tree, you could push it over. It's just balanced. It looks scary. It looks powerful. But it's balanced, almost like on a pin. It's balanced and you can just push it over. And when it falls over, it crumbles into a million pieces. Because it's not really a tree, it just looks like a tree. Because the earth doesn't grow negativity. The earth will only grow positivity. Because that's natural. And that stays with you. So sometimes if you think about the... You know, you think, why is it the negative stuff that's on my mind when I'm trying to go to sleep or I'm again so many of those thoughts or when you're trying to relax 
is because they are technically bigger, but they're hollow. They have no roots. They're just balanced. A big gust of wind can blow them over. You could push them over. But with the positive trees that are maybe a little bit shorter because they grow downwards first with the roots, then they grow up. towards the sky, protecting you, giving your mind that oxygen that you need, that positive energy. And what the negative ones do is they grow big very quickly in order to block out the sun, to block out that bright that light as much as possible so that sometimes things feel a bit darker than they actually really are because the sun's always shining somewhere always shining it might need just to push that tree over it's not even a real tree, is it? That fake tree. That fake, hollow, negative tree that's just balanced there. It's just balanced. You can just push it over and then you can see the sunshine again. the negativity, it drains the positivity to give itself life, to grow. And by blocking the sun from you, it drains the sun, drains the positivity into itself to grow. Which is why it grows so big. Only the earth can grow positivity. Negativity is just false, temporary. Positivity is permanent. That's real. We are born positive. We are born. young children believing that we can do things that aren't even possible there's that possibility that's that positivity it's that real belief in ourselves that sometimes we lose or is almost removed from us by others other people's negativity and life experiences and the reason I'm talking about these negative these false negative trees that can just be pushed over they look scary they look big and strong but they're empty they have no strength I'm talking about this is because that's what gets in the way of some people relaxing deeply and sleeping easily is the belief that those negative trees or those negative thoughts actually mean something the idea that they are powerful when they are weak they're less than weak just a show that basically it's like a theatre production it's just a tree on a stage it's not real can't do anything it might look amazing it may look really scary but 
is not. It's like seeing an incredible Hulk on a television, watching a movie. It's not real. Sorry to break it to people that think it's real. You know, you can watch that in the cinema and see the incredible Hulk or Thor in one of the Marvel movies and think, wow, these super strong, amazing creatures. But you go behind the screen of the cinema, probably can't do that, but you go up to the screen, all you're going to see is just a, a white bit of fabric or a bit of plastic or whatever they project it on. You go up to the projector room, all it is is a bit of film. That's all these negative thoughts are. In fact, if you think of film, cameras, the negative of a camera. It's not the real thing. You don't show people the negatives of a, of a, you know, if you've been on holiday, then you, I know a lot of people take pictures on phones now, but if you were to take pictures on a camera and process those films in a dark room, like the old days, or take them to a shop to get them produced they'll give you the negatives but you don't show people the negatives you show people the positive ones the ones full of colour the ones full of energy the ones that you feel good about when we start to think about that start to think about that in a way that's helpful for you as you start to relax even more deeply and you can just realize that you know what those negative thoughts they can't well they don't have the power can't control you because I don't have the power to just an empty shell of nothing it just looks scary and the positive thoughts the positive ideas the positivity inside you is strong with roots just the feelings but you can see you can feel you can taste you can smell you can hear the difference between the positive feelings and those empty negative thoughts they used to look scary they used to sound scary but now the curtains been drawn and you can actually see inside that negative thought that there is nothing of any consequence there there's nothing of any power there it was basically a bully an empty moment onwards you're worth more than that you have 
have to be your own protector. You need to be your own fan club, your own support. You need to cheer yourself on. However strange it may sound, you need to be your own cheerleader. Always. Because throughout your life, you're the only person that has spent every second of your life with you. It's you. You're the only one. No one else has been with you throughout the entire journey of every second of your life. Nobody knows you the way you know yourself. Nobody will ever know you the way you know yourself. Therefore, you need to be your own best friend. You need to be your own boss. Your own cheerleader. Being kind to yourself is not an option. It's a necessity to love yourself. Take care of yourself. And part of that is to let go when it comes to relaxing and falling asleep. To let go completely of all of those pointless, nagging thoughts and voices and memories and stuff that is of no use to you and when you're going to sleep even the positive stuff isn't particularly useful if it's about if it's thinking yeah I find it quite easy to fall asleep with positive thoughts I think in some ways if I've never heard anyone say to me a problem with him falling asleep is I have too many happy memories and too many happy thoughts going on never had that never heard that and I get a lot of messages from people one little trick I do well, it's not a trick but it's something I like to do I like to think about winning the lottery and all the people that I'd help and I fall asleep I never get to the end of it so pos positive thinking if you just allow it to be there will accompany you into a feeling of deep relaxation difference between feeling deeply relaxed when you're laying down on your bed and falling asleep is your decision whether or not to fall asleep that's the only difference that crossing the bridge between so relaxed and feeling so sleepy is almost seconds away seconds away and you can enjoy you can enjoy knowing that this from now on much much nicer experience because you deserve this this is your birthright to be able to sleep to be able to sleep easily is your birthright it's 
It's one of the few things that we were born able to do, all of us. And from now on, you can enjoy that, that skill, that natural process. When you realize that there's nothing, nothing of all that needs your attention. to spread over your mind and your body. All over your mind. It's almost like your mind doesn't even exist. It's like it's not there. And the same as with your body in a way, it's so loose and relaxed, you don't necessarily even notice it. It just feels so nice to. sense. 